In recent years, the Indo-Pacific region has become a focal point of global geopolitical competition, with several nations competing for control over its vital waterways and resources. As China's influence in the region expands, territorial disputes in the South China Sea have escalated, bringing China into conflict with neighboring countries. In response, the United States, seeking to maintain a free and open Indo-Pacific, has strengthened its military alliances, with the Philippines playing a critical role due to its strategic proximity to Taiwan and the contested waters of the South China Sea. In the most recent developments, tensions between the United States and China have escalated as the U.S. maintains its missile system in the Philippines, despite growing Chinese demands for its removal. The Typhon system, capable of launching cruise missiles with the potential to strike China, was initially deployed for joint military exercises earlier this year, but has remained in place since. The Philippines, located south of Taiwan, holds significant strategic value for U.S. defense plans in Asia, especially in the event of a conflict over Taiwan. However, China and Russia have criticized the U.S. presence, accusing Washington of fueling an arms race and destabilizing the region. The presence of the Typhon system in the northern Philippines, specifically on Luzon Island, facing the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait, has deep intentions. Both Filipino and U.S. forces continue to train with the system, which has not been withdrawn even though the joint exercises are nearing their end. Filipino officials have indicated that no immediate plans for its removal exist, as the U.S. and the Philippines are testing the feasibility of using the missile system in a regional conflict scenario. China's concerns about the Typhon system have been publicly expressed, with the Chinese Foreign Ministry stating that it poses a significant threat to regional security and exacerbates geopolitical tensions. Nonetheless, Philippine and U.S. military officials have emphasized the importance of the system in their strategic partnership. Colonel Louis Dema Ala of the Philippine Army acknowledged that the decision to keep the system lies with U.S. authorities, as it remains a U.S. asset, not yet transferred to Philippine control. The Typhon missile system, which includes capabilities like the SM-6 and Tomahawk missiles, offers the potential to strike targets over 1,600 kilometers away. Its presence in the Philippines aligns with the broader U.S. strategy of countering China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific region. A senior Philippine official noted that keeping the missile system in place serves as a deterrent to Chinese aggression, signaling that the Philippines seeks to strengthen its defense posture in the face of increasing regional tensions. The strategic deployment of anti-ship weapons in the Indo-Pacific has become a cornerstone of U.S. efforts to counter China's military dominance. As part of this, the U.S. military plans to acquire hundreds of SM-6 missiles over the next five years and has already amassed thousands of Tomahawk missiles. China, however, views these moves as provocations, with Chinese Defense Ministry officials warning that such deployments increase the risk of war in the region. Philippine Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo has reassured China that the presence of the Typhon system does not pose a direct threat, yet Manila remains committed to its defense alliance with the U.S. This balancing act highlights the Philippines' delicate position caught between two superpowers. With China militarizing several islands in the South China Sea, the Philippines faces ongoing confrontations with Chinese vessels over disputed waters. Since President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. took office in 2022, the U.S. has worked to rebuild its relationship with the Philippines after a period of estrangement under former President Rodrigo Duterte. The U.S. quickly extended diplomatic overtures to Marcos, with President Joe Biden congratulating him early on. How we can continue to strengthen this relationship. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President and high-level visits by Vice President Kamala Harris and other U.S. officials followed. Under Duterte's leadership, the Philippines pivoted toward China, hoping to benefit from large investments promised through Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative. However, 
Many of these investments failed to materialize, leaving Duterte's pro-China stance increasingly unpopular. Despite Duterte's threats to terminate key defense agreements with the U.S., military officials within the Philippines quietly maintained strong ties with Washington, continuing joint military operations in contested areas of the South China Sea. China's aggressive territorial claims, particularly in the South China Sea, have placed the Philippines in a vulnerable position. The strategic importance of the Philippines has become increasingly evident as U.S.-China tensions continue to rise, particularly over Taiwan. As Beijing expands its military presence across the Indo-Pacific, securing partnerships like the one with the Philippines is crucial for the U.S. defense strategy. The Biden administration has prioritized rebuilding trust with the Philippines to ensure the country remains a key ally in countering China's regional ambitions. During Duterte's tenure, the Philippines participated in limited joint maritime drills with China and other Southeast Asian nations. However, the Philippine military avoided actions that could portray the country as a Chinese ally. Despite Duterte's public opposition to U.S. military exercises, joint drills with the U.S. continued under different guises, ensuring ongoing military cooperation while minimizing political friction with Duterte's administration. The Philippine military also resisted Chinese investment projects that posed potential national security risks, including a smart city initiative on Fuga Island and a Chinese bid to acquire a shipyard at Subic Bay. The military's opposition to these projects ensured that U.S. interests remained a priority, with the Subic Bay shipyard ultimately being acquired by a U.S.-backed private equity firm. Under the Trump administration, U.S.-Philippine relations were carefully managed. This reassured Manila of continued U.S. support even as Duterte's pro-China policies strained diplomatic ties. With Marcos in power, the number of Philippine military bases accessible to U.S. forces has increased from five to nine, signifying the renewed strength of the bilateral defense relationship. These bases, particularly in northern Philippines, are strategically critical for U.S. operations in the region, especially given their proximity to Taiwan. The U.S.-Philippine partnership, enhanced by the shared security interests, continues to evolve as both nations prepare for the growing challenges posed by China's assertiveness in the Indo-Pacific. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analysis of global issues.